I wanted to be a doctor since I was 14, and at that point I was working in hospitals and maintained that interest and then got sidetracked into mathematics and went on to become a research mathematician. And at the end of that training, I wanted to do something more important to people on a daily basis. I went back to medicine, um, went into neurosurgery because it just seemed to me that was, that was an opportunity to, to be meaningful and use my math background to get into the field of functional neurosurgery. My specialty is neurosurgery and within that specialty what I concentrate on is surgery for Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders and surgery for epilepsy. Because I'm involved in the clinical effort at Georgia Health Sciences University, research plays really two roles. The first is it allows me to think about the different problems that arise in the treatment of an individual patient and to seek new solutions rather than just to carry on as we have before. The second is just the exciting opportunity to work with people who are doing peer research or doing research that may not have a specific clinical goal at its front but may lend to other understanding. The technology here at Georgia Health Sciences University is a very nice blend of the practical clinical tools that are widely found and of new technology that merges into that flow almost seamlessly. Uh, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is to use that new technology, to use new types of imaging, how new types of display of imaging to enhance what we do in the operating room. For example, to actually see the position of a recording electrode within the brain or to actually see where a tumor is and where the seizures may be coming from around it and to see the intricate brain anatomy associated with it all on one screen. One aspect of me that is useful to patients and may affect a patient to want to come to me is that I'm on their side. And although I may be blunt about the disease, um, I may be, the recommendations we recommend may be tedious or even painful, I am on their side both from the standpoint of prescribing the right treatment, getting it done, and counseling them afterwards about what's possible and what's not possible.